The lesson is? What was it? Jesus is a child. Jesus is a child? Child. You said child. Child. I'm sure you said child. Child. He said child, didn't he? He said child. Huh? He said child. Favor's no nonsense here. Favor says he said child. Let's just be good at that. All right. Are we ready? Are we started? We're started. We're started. Now, today's lesson comes out of the book of Matthew. Yes, there's a book in the Bible called Matthew. Matthew was one of the 12 disciples of Jesus. And this is the book, uh, the uh, lesson comes out of the book of Matthew. Also, the lesson comes out of the book of Luke. Is there anybody here named Luke? Luke. Yes. Luke. I know, I know a guy named Lucas. Same name. And by the way, Matthias is also the same name as Matthew. Same name. Matthias is just a little different version of Matthew. So see, guys, you got books named after you in the Bible. Let me see. Do we have a? We don't have a right up a Dominic. We don't have a. No, we have a book of Romans. Oh yeah. That's, that's right there. What? We, say we don't have a Jaden. We, yes, we do have, we've got books named John, John, uh, 1st John, 2nd John, 3rd John, we we've got a Jordan River, we don't have a Sophia, I don't know, we don't have Ellis, we don't have John Faber, we don't have William, we don't have Katie, we don't have Megan, we don't have Eric, we don't have a Emma, we don't have a Amaya, we do have Matthew, book of Matthew, we don't have Raina, Nathaniel is a prophet, we don't have, ooh, ooh, They, these, these guys don't know Veggie Tales. They didn't get they didn't get that one. Nathaniel was a prophet. Ooh, ooh. No, 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 all right, let's see. We don't have a Xander. We don't have a uh, Kaylee. We don't. We always say we don't have Eric. We don't have a Melody. We don't have a Harmony. We don't have a Serenity. We don't have a Carla in the Bible. We have a tribe of Levi, and we got and we've got a uh, a King Josiah. We got King David. Yeah, we got a book of James, and the Bible is full of faith. I'll tell you right now, the Bible is full of faith. But today's lesson is out of the books of Matthew and Luke. Matthew chapter 2, Luke chapter 2. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. Pop quiz. Is Matthew in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Old Testament. Matthew is in the Old Testament. Hands up. Hands down. Hands up if Matthew is in the New Testament. Matthew is in the New Testament. You are all right. Yeah. What about Luke? What about Luke? Old or new? Old. Yeah. We got old. Everybody agree in favor. Old Testament. Okay, come here. Kaya and favor. Come here. Kaya and Favor, come here. Favor, you're going to be on this side of me. Kaya, you're going to be on this side of me. Point to Favor if you think it's Old Testament. And point to Kaya if you think it's New Testament. The answer is New. Matthew and Luke are part of four books called the Gospels. There's Matthew, there's Mark. There's Luke and there's John. Those are called the Gospels. Gospel is a fancy word that means good news. Now what good news could we possibly be talking about? Even better. I mean, it's, it's about God. But even more specific. Who's, who said that? Who said that? Did you say that? Are you sure you said I'm sure you said that. You're going to get participation points if you don't stop doing that. What about Jesus? What about Jesus? What, why do we celebrate this season? What, what 
season is this? Go shout out, what season is this? Jesus Christ, our Savior, was born. Now, why do we need saving? Who needs who needs to be saved? We all do. Why? Why? Why do we sin? Because we sin. You see, it all goes back to this one guy and his wife, and his name was Adam, and his wife's name was Eve. got tricked into disobeying God. And disobeying God is what? Sin. Now, when Eve got tricked, she tried to drag Adam into it. And do you think Adam was smart enough to say, I'm not going to do that? No. No, Adam said, oh, it's your Eve. I'll, I'll, I'll eat the fruit with you, Eve. So he did. But because of what Adam and Eve did, sin came into this world. Now, there's a, a, a guy by the name of Paul writing to a group of people called the Romans. The Romans. He said, the wages of sin is death. Now, do, Faber, do you know what a wage is? Nope, not quite. That's a way. Does anybody know what a wage is? Eric, what do you think? Yeah, you get paid to do something. I say, Eric, I want you to come over to my house and mow my lawn. Raina, if you fall off like that, we are going to laugh at you so hard. <laughs> if I say, Eric, come on over to my house and mow my lawn, and I'll pay you 25 bucks. He'll do it. Believe me, your brother jumped at that chance. I had him come over and help me do some stuff and paid him, and he jumped at that. He was all over that. Kevin, yeah. And here's the thing. When you do something and you get paid for it, that's a wage. If you sin, what is your payment? Evil. Death. Death is your payment for sin. So, you see, death means that we're separated from God. God can't look at sin. If we're full of sin, God can't be with us. So, by Jesus being born, that broke that sin, that broke the death. And so we can be alive forever now because of Jesus. Now, we're getting real close to the end of the class, so i got to get into this lesson because my... I think I turned my shut up alarm off, but it's about to go off anyway. Now, I can say that because I'm not telling somebody to do that. So, here's the thing. Believe it or not, Jesus was a child. Jesus was born. I'm going to pull you over. I'm, I'm going to pull you off. Jesus was born. How old are you, honey? Five. How many are you? Three. 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 Four. Three. Four. Nine. Okay. Nice, everybody. Aitana is four years old. Oh, you go sit down. Jaden, come here. Jaden, How old are you, Jaden? Three. Uh, are you three? Jaden is three. Levi, come here. You can go sit down. Levi, come here. Come here, buddy. You don't want to come? Okay, let him, let him be. Let him be. Let him be. If he doesn't want to come, he doesn't have to. How old are you, Levi? Are you three? Are you three? Are you four? He's three. He's three? Okay, let him be. Would you believe? Come here, Jaden. Simba. Would you believe that Jesus was once this age? Yes. Jesus was once a little boy, just like Jaden.
Now, some of you are a little older. Let's see. I know I got a few here that are 11. I know I got at least one that's 12. But the 12 year old's kind of busy right now, so I'm going to let I'm going to leave her alone. Raise your hand if you're 11. Raise your hand if you're 11 and you want to come up here. I'm going to take Eric. Now, once upon a time, Jesus was this age too. Now, here's the deal. Anybody ever get lost? Yes. Let me tell you what happened to Jesus when he was 12 years old. When, when Jesus was 12 years old, his family, and it was their, it was their custom to go to the temple every year. They would go to the temple once a year. And Jesus' whole family went to the temple. All his relatives, his aunts, his uncles, his cousins. Yes, he had family. His mom, his dad, his brothers and sisters. He had brothers and sisters, believe it or not. And they all went down to Jerusalem to the temple, about 200 miles away. And when the time came for them to go back home, and he lived in a city called Nazareth, and all his family started to go home. Now, they all traveled together. Nobody traveled alone back then because you'd get robbed. So, all his family went. But, Jesus wasn't with them. Jesus was not with them. And they got all the way they started first thing in the morning, and when it got dark, they stopped for the night. And now Jesus wasn't with his parents. And they figured, well, he's just with family. He's, he's just hanging out with his friends. You hang out with friends? Sometimes maybe, sometimes maybe your, uh, your family goes, away, goes somewhere and you're just hanging out with your friends, right? And they think, no big deal because you're just with your friends. What is friends? You don't have any friends? Matias doesn't Lord. have any friends. Yeah, I do. Oh. I do. I do. Everybody say oh. As a parent, 
And I, we have a little, Faith and I have a little girl who's 13 years old. So she's, yeah, I know, she's not that little anymore. She's bigger than this face. But, but, she wasn't 12 very long ago. And for us to, for our child to come up missing, and we have no idea, and we search the city for three days, and we can't find them. For a parent, that is terrifying. I'm sure his mom was crying. I'm sure his dad was going, honey, we'll find him. Don't worry. We'll find him. But he, down deep inside, dad's going, oh, what's going on? I'm sure dad is crying inside, too. But not, not outside because he's got to be, he's got to have a brave face for, he's got to have a brave face for, for uh, Mary. Men do cry, actually. They yeah, they do. Finally, after three days, hi, Tana. Hands off. After three days, they went to the temple, and there was a gap. Listen up, listen up. You guys aren't listening here. Three days, and they go into the temple, and there is a gathering of teachers and priests and scribes. And in the middle of all of them is a 12-year-old boy. And that 12-year-old boy is asking questions, and he's answering questions that they ask of him. And these guys are amazed that a 12-year-old kid knows so much. And when they saw him, oh, and I'm sure I could, I could just see his mom, Mary, running. Jesus, Jesus, where have you been? Where have you been? We've been, we've been looking for you for three days. Okay. <coughs> None of you know my mom. I do. Got, no, you didn't know my mom. I do, I do. I do. God rest your soul, my mom, went, my mom went to heaven a long time ago. But my mom, she would be real worried. Where have you been, David? I have been looking all over for you. And all of a sudden she gets mad. I have been looking all over for you. How could you do this to us? And I'm sure that's how Mary was with Jesus. Your father and I have been looking for you all this time. He said, why were you looking for me? Don't you know I should be about my father's business? In other words, don't you know? Now, was Jesus disobedient? No, he wasn't. Jesus was never disobedient. Jesus had a very eventful childhood. Now, I guess it's parents are starting to show up, so time for David to... This is David's shut up alarm here. And no, it wasn't a bad thing that I said because I'm saying it to myself. And all right, listen up. Aitana and Eloisa, please. <clears throat> girls, girls, come on back. Your names are not Aitana or Eloisa. And you just stay in your seats. Now I'm going to, we're going to tell you more about the things that happened to Jesus. Because, yes, Jesus was the Messiah. He was the promised king. But Jesus was just like you and me. Jesus was little. Actually, Jesus wasn't like me because Jesus never got to be my age. But Jesus was just like you guys. He was a little kid once. And yet, he was without sin. He never sinned in his whole life. Which is more than I can say for any of you guys, and more than I can say for me. All right, I want everybody to bow your heads. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the lesson about Jesus. Lord, we, knew, we know that Jesus was human, and yet he was God at the same time. And we can't necessarily understand that. But you have that wisdom that you give to us. Lord, I ask you to help us to love Jesus the way you love him. That we might invite him to be the Lord of our lives. That we might know him as our best friend ever. 
And we thank you and we give you all the praise for it. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.